Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be running around quite a bit. So I figured why not go ahead and take you guys along with, gonna get into a few different things. One of them being finding the perfect Yeezy slide alternative. I mean, truth be told, we're not trying to spend too, too much on a pair of slides. And this submission is from none other than Target. I did hear about these slides from Ryan Trittini. I hope I'm saying that right in the Locust and Wild Honey Facebook community. If you're not a part of the group just yet, go ahead and hit the link in the description. It's all the way down at the bottom. It's totally worth it. It's an amazing place to buy, sell, trade, and honestly just talk all things fashion and share fit picks. It's a really awesome community and I think you'd love it. And if I'm honest, it's not complete without you there. So go ahead, hit the link and join it. Anyways, as one of the things that I need to do today, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I did upgrade my sneaker wall from what it used to be. And I did end up finding these lack shelves. Ended up looking pretty good if I don't say so myself. But with that, um, I want to get rid of this thing. I think this thing's just unsightly. I've had uh, the idea of getting rid of this box set up uh, for quite some time. I just think it'll look much better uh, to have a couple of racks. Yes, for today, keeping things very simple, it's a cooler. A uh, sunny day today, which is really nice. I've got on the Ye Must Be Born Again hoodie. Honestly, one of the best blanks ever. This thing just fits amazing. And the newly restocked minimal boot cut denim. These things are just so fire. And then for the toe, we've got here uh, the Sale Jordan 1. First stop of the day, Tarjay. That was for free. It's from bars out here. All right, so we're on the iPhone. Oh my gosh, that was so easy to find my size so this would be like the nude color let's see if they have any other colors and they don't so here we go they don't look half bad 15 bucks i actually didn't realize oops okay i feel like when it comes to clothes at target things are tend to be overpriced especially for what you're getting which makes sense because it's a convenience factor but honestly for 15 i can't be mad at that looking like uh bob the builder out here with my mini ladder and my tool bag i don't know if i already told you this but uh juan aka uh orange circle vintage why you gotta be honking like that man dang juan or orange circle vintage is actually opening a storefront and he no longer needs these uh racks here so that's why he's gonna be selling them to me. They actually have another vintage spot here. Definitely gonna do some shopping after I get the racks. You hear those racks? I feel like I'm earning this work where I studied right now. Cut it in half. Let's fit on my car. It doesn't come apart. Does this come off? This is cut in half. Oh, here we go. This screw? Oh, this is so easy. All right, boys. So, done deal. Uh, we've officially removed it. Gonna throw it in my car, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of shopping because there's a lot of new booths in here. Yes, I love having an SUV. Anyways, let's go ahead and do some shopping. <laughs> kind of sick. I'll probably wear this one opened. Mirror right here. Yeah, this is actually pretty, pretty sick. It's like too oversized, dude. What the heck? Let's see. It is like made oversized and it's not large. They only have size larges. Fashion is gender neutral now, guys. Come on. And best of all, Gabby and I can share it. Yo, what is good, guys? So I decided to go ahead and step into the mall 
because generally at these more, uh, for lack of better words, not so poppin' malls, you can find some good stuff in the sneaker stores because they don't have as much foot traffic. All right, so uh, looks like I was wrong. These are really the only shoes here that are worth mentioning. Yeah, I must say, calling that Foot Locker underwhelming would be a bit of an understatement because, I'm not kidding, there was zero basketball shoes, which leads us to Shoe Palace. Nice shoe palace too. The love tees, beautiful shoe. Yeah, it's really nice. Dude, this inventory shortage is actually insane. Both Foot Locker and Shoe Palace. This giant shoe palace, zero shoes to hoop in. Like shoes that are like designed to be hooping in. All right, well, that's a no. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit because A, I'm tired from all the vlogging, and B, I just wanted to like take note of something. I think we're in unprecedented days, and I'm not trying to sound dramatic or grim, but it feels like we are on the trajectory to changing completely how we as a society do shopping and engage in commerce. As we see so many places closed, I have to say, a majority of the stores, not only at my mall uh, down in South County, but here at this mall, which is you know, pretty far from where I live, most stores are closed. It's really, really crazy. I wanted to know, uh, do you like where we're headed as it relates to uh, just having the convenience of being able to have things just shipped to you and shipping them back if they don't work out? Um, I'd definitely be interested in hearing what you guys have to say. I don't know, there's something in me that's always gonna enjoy the nostalgia of just going to a mall like this one and uh, actually going in and trying stuff on and, and going through the whole process of going to the fitting room and engaging with other people face to face. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below. I'd definitely be interested in whether you guys are for more direct to customer or for going to malls. Anyways, let us continue with today's vlog. I'm really excited to get my new racks up and to see how it looks in my house. So it's been a pretty lackluster experience here at the mall, but H&M never fails. Let's see what they have in here. It's a really nice H&M actually. It's a really nice place. It's like a mocha. Oh wow, look at that. This is nice. It's like a mohair. Jacket. I might have to try this boy on. Got a puffer. This isn't half bad either. This puffer. If I can find any of this stuff online that I like, I will have it linked below. It's like a teddy bear Sherpa. Zip up. Alright, so first things first, I have to say, I'm very impressed with this h &M. It's really, it's really thorough. They have a ton of good stuff. Go ahead and try this stuff on real quick. I will say the prices are a little bit higher than normal. Not a bad item, but definitely not me. This thing's way too tight. This, on the other hand, isn't bad at all. Okay, H&M. This is a good puffer, man. $60. So zipping up with a minor adjustment of folding it, the fit is now acceptable. This isn't bad, dude. So here's that mohair piece. Oh no, though, H&M, asking $80. It's a bit of a stretch. All right, so the bag is secured from H&M. Let's go ahead and get out of this mall because I don't think there's anywhere else worth stopping. I mean, honestly, what I'm doing should be uh, pretty straightforward. Got a new drill bit, 316. These are uh, anchors that will go into the wall. So I make a hole in the wall, this anchor goes in, and then you just screw it in. On this side, I end up finding a stud. I mean, there's one on this side as well, but this one right here, stud, so I didn't have to uh, throw the anchors in there. Uh, this one's definitely super secure. Eventually. Yo, what is good guys? First things first, I gotta be honest with you, a few days have elapsed since I did put up the little shelving system here. I got a haircut as you can see, but I did wanna go ahead and end today's video showing you guys everything that I purchased today. Also, I did get a package just get delivered. If it is what I think it is, then we are in for a treat. I'm really looking forward to opening this box up, but as you guys did see, I was able to successfully put up 
the clothing rack here. And this is actually going to be like one of the backdrops for the videos, that of which I will use today, kind of debut it here on the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything I did purchase in today's vlog and then end the video with Richie Lee's newest sneakers to be dropping very, very soon. I'll have a link in the description below as well. From H&M, my new puffer. Now, the reason why I did go ahead and pick this one up is because A, at the price point of $59.99, I felt like that was a really good value, especially for what you're getting. You have a nylon shell that is both water and wind resistant. You have a good amount of insulation in the fill power, uh, which is to say that it's not too thick, but it's not too thin, if that makes sense. You're getting a decent amount of insulation and it's not terribly puffy. I find that uh, when I'm looking for a puffer or when I'm shopping for puffers, at least the ones that I've tried on, uh, they tend to make me look a little bit too round, if that makes sense. Again, that Michelin man thing going. And it kind of throws off the proportions of my outfits. So thus far, this is one of the better ones that I have found. I did also end up getting that Dickies work shirt. Uh, why this one stood out to me is because it uh, fit nicely as well as it has that contrasting element. And uh, the two utility pockets up front also look really good. So this one should be very easy to style. All right, and so here we are. We have my personal pair of Yeezy slides. And then let's go ahead and compare them to the Target alternative. So having them side by side, you can definitely tell which one is an Adidas Yeezy slide. It's much more chunky, it's a bit wider. And of course the outsole is a bit more pronounced with the $15 Target alternative. You have here a decent looking pair of slides. I'm not gonna lie, they're definitely still minimalistic. They're quite a bit more firm, but still I'd say they're pretty comfortable. And of course, as I've already mentioned, they're a little bit more streamlined and less chunky. Now. Would I recommend the Target slide? I would definitely say yes, but under one reservation. And that is under the reservation of you just needing a pair of slides. Not because you want them to look like Yeezy slides, but because you genuinely like the look of the slide. I don't think that these would pass as Yeezys if that's something you're trying to do. Under those circumstances, you might as well go ahead and get yourself a rep, but I would recommend the slide nonetheless for sure. It's definitely super clean under certain circumstances. Some people might prefer a less chunky looking slide, and that's essentially what you get from this Target version. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the team over at Richie Lee Collection sent over. First things first, we have a handwritten letter from the legends themselves. It says, Paul, enjoy our new Chelsea sneakers. Thank you always, guys. Thank you always. It honestly is such a pleasure and a privilege to call you guys my friends. And uh, I'm so excited to support my friends. I did want to mention that the presentation is on point. I mean, they went as far as to add the magnetic closure, which is oh so satisfying. Let's see it one more time. <laughs> we have Richie Lee dust bags. Should be the perfect size to house your new Chelsea sneakers. The attention to detail, fellas, with the suede brush. And so let's go ahead and jump right into the sneakers. Up top, you have a really, really great feeling suede. It's nice and hairy and you have that element of uh, changing color as you rub your hand across. Just really speaks of the immense level of quality with relation to the suede that they opted for. Now, as it pertains to the shape of the shoe, it's very, very sleek. I can definitely see these complementing uh, the Richie Lee denim very, very well. Just falling to the point of where it finishes right at the ankle, and then you're gonna have that nice stacking effect as it relates to sizing. Take it from the team themselves. If you find yourself in that intermediary space where you're between sizes, let's just say hypothetically speaking you're a nine and a half go ahead and take the next size down so under those circumstances you would go for a size nine so my camera died while i was filming the sit down portion of today's video so while it was charging i decided to move it and go ahead and throw the shoes on feet and kind of talk about how they feel comfort and all that good stuff to give you like the most up-to-date point of view version of what i think now, as you can see, I do have on the Richie Lee T and the Richie Lee denim to go with the newest addition to the Richie Lee collection, which is the Chelsea sneakers. I have to say, I do love the idea of the fusion 
of having a sneaker and a Chelsea boot. The shoes are a nice compromise between formal and casual, and I can honestly see them being styled a few different ways, whether they're dressed up or dressed down like I have them here. The suede on these shoes really is very impressive. And as you look down, you can just really tell that these are a very high quality pair of shoes. Now, I did want to talk about sizing from my specific point of view. It does say on the site, and it was advised to go ahead and size down if you are in that half size range. I'm personally a size eight and a half to a nine. And right now I do have a size nine on the toe and they find that they actually fit perfect now that might be anecdotal as the guys do recommend sizing down if you're in that half size area but i did want to let you guys know about my situation specifically keep in mind my foot is somewhere in between medium and medium wide so that might play a role in it as well but yeah the size 9 fits me perfectly and with that the new richard lee collection chelsea sneakers definitely have a place in my wardrobe very very well done fellas and with all that being said that is going to do it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did please be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know to keep the content coming felt like this video was somewhat all over the place so thank you so much for bearing with me and of course as always as i end every video here at locust wild honey i'm gonna say peace and be blessed